It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here. Um, it's looking like it's Goober Week or something. <laughs> Today's is another one on George Lindsay. Um, and how uh, he went into a rage uh, when this certain episode aired. Uh, he said he just went completely nuts. Take a look. After George Lindsay joined the Andy Griffith Show, uh, cast in the show's fourth season as Goober, cousin of Mayberry's gas station attendant, Gomer Powell, played by Jim Neighbors. Fans may recall Lindsay's lines on the show as first revolved around Goober's impressions of Cary Grant and actor Edward G. Robinson. Uh, what, may not, uh, what may not be known by many fans was Lindsay's initial resentment towards the show. He detailed in his memoir, Goober in a Nutshell, the anger he uh, felt after the airing of a specific episode. Griffith uh, had met nightclub performer Jim Neighbors in 1963 through a mutual friend. He'd heard that Neighbors was performing and went to see what he heard uh, would be a great show. Daniel Devise wrote in the 2015's uh, Andy and Don, The Making of a Friendship, a classic American TV show, that the mutual friend escorted Andy to see Jim perform. I didn't want to go, Andy recalled, but the man got up and was electrifying. Afterward, Andy caught up with Jim on the sidewalk outside, Devise said. I don't know what you do, but it's magic, whatever it is. If a part ever comes up for you on the show, I'll give you a call. The producer of the show was originally uh, had considered Lindsay for the role of the dim-witted but gentle Gomer Pyle. Uh, after Griffith had seen Neighbors' nightclub performance, however, he couldn't think of anyone else but Neighbors as Gomer Pyle. Griffith asked the show's producer, Aaron Rubin, to wait on hiring Lindsay for the role until he and show creator Sheldon Leonard had met Neighbors. Rubin recalled, according to Devise, so in comes Jim Neighbors. It's a script, he reads. We lacked in professionalism and experience. He made up for a certain native... Uh, Naive charm. Lindsay revealed that he visited the show set a couple times, hoping Griffith would notice and like him enough to keep him in mind. Griffith did and allowed Lindsay to read for the role of Gomer Pyle. Lindsay was granted the part, only to have it taken away and given to Neighbors. Neighbors debuted in his role as Gomer Pyle in the Griffith Show episode. He was a man in a hurry. Lins Lindsay watched uh, Neighbors, a uh, self admitted acting amateur, shine in the role meant for him. In his memoir, uh, the Goober actor uh, descri uh, described the range of emotions he experienced from his living room couch. They brought uh, Jim on as Gomer in an episode called Man in a Hurry, he wrote. It was a small part, but his performance in the entire episode really worked. When I was sitting in my living room after watching that first episode featuring Gomer, I jumped up from my chair in an absolute rage and kicked a tube out of my television set while screaming, that's my part, that's my part, that's my part. I just went completely nuts. I was so upset about not getting the role. This was the perfect part for me. Eventually, of course, Lindsay was hired as Gomer's cousin, Goober, but he refused to speak to neighbors for over a year after that. <clears throat> okay. Now, I know I said Man in a Hurry was his first episode. I'm not sure. I think the, the part where he was uh, working in the bank vault might have been uh, after thinking about it. And the other thing is, um, George, if George was still alive, I'd have to ask him, why was you mad at Jim? He just took a job. Uh, wasn't, you should have been mad at the people who hired him, who, who swept that you out from under you, uh, like Andy. <laughs> but anyway, it all turned out good. Uh, then, and, and Goober did him good through the rest of his life. So, I mean, Goober on Andy, Goober on RFD, Goober on Hee Haw, on the Grand Ole Opry. Okay, this is all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. It's on Gene Stapleton, who played Edith Bunker. And uh, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. It's on Waylon Jennings and haunting words that he said that just followed him for the rest of his life, just haunted him for the rest of his life. 
It's a really sad one, actually. Uh, you might know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I'm not sure, but it, if you don't, you need to go over there and check it out. Uh, please subscribe. If you have not yet, we're 25 away from 10,000. And if you don't mind, please like this video. Thank you very much. You guys have a great day. God bless. Praying for you.